Johnny Langendorf was driving in Sutherland Springs, Texas, when he spotted an exchange of gunfire. He told the Associated Press he was approached by one of the men had seen shooting as the other, later identified as First Baptist Church shooter Devon P. Kelly, took off. The gentleman with a rifle came to my truck as the shooter took off and he briefed me quickly on what had just happened and said we had to get him, so that's what I did, Langendorf said matter of factly. According to his account, he and the unidentified rifle-wielding man took off in the trucks in the hopes of catching and stopping Kelly. We just take pursuit. We speed over Highway 87 through traffic. We hit about 95 down Farm Road 539 trying to catch this guy until he eventually lost control on his own and went off in the ditch, Langendorf recalled. William Luther Rapp he just gave up. He went off in the ditch, hit a hay bale from what I could see, and then he just never moved after that. He didnt get out. Didnt try anything. Langendorf told up the man with whom had pursued Kelly got out of his truck and attempted to coax the shooter out of his vehicle, but was unsuccessful. Police, whom Langendorf had been on the phone with throughout the entirety of the chase, arrived shortly after and ordered Langendorf and the other good Samaritan move back. There was no gunfire, he said. While many have hailed Langendorf a hero, praising his quick thinking and bravery in a stressful and dangerous time, he told up he didnt have to think twice about it after the hurt Kelly inflicted on First Baptist Church parishioners. He just hurt so many people and he just affected so many people's lives. Why would NTU want to take him down, he said. At least 26 people were killed when Kelly opened fire on the House of Worship. A full list of names has not yet been released. Suzanne Cordero at Getty Images